Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a common but often misunderstood heart problem, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, or PSVT. If you or someone you know has ever had an episode of rapid, very fast or uncomfortable heartbeat, it's possible that it was an episode of PSVT. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about this condition, from the causes and symptoms to the available treatment options. So, if you're curious to learn more about PSBT, keep watching. What is PSBT? PSBT, or paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, is a group of cardiac arrhythmias that share a common characteristic, rapid heartbeat. These arrhythmias have sudden onset and termination, and the heart can beat at a rate of over 200 beats per minute during the episode. PSBT can cause a range of uncomfortable symptoms, including palpitations, shortness of breath, excessive sweating, dizziness, fatigue, chest pain, and even fainting. These episodes can last just a few seconds or up to hours, and PSBT can affect people of all ages, from children to the elderly. If experiencing symptoms of PSBT, it's important to seek medical attention to assess the condition and recommend the most appropriate treatment. With the right treatment, it's possible to relieve symptoms and prevent serious complications. What are the main mechanisms of PSBT? There are three main mechanisms of PSBT, atrioventricular nodal reentry tachycardia, or a VNRT, atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia, or a VRT, and atrial tachycardia. Each of these mechanisms is distinct and occurs due to different conditions or factors, such as abnormalities in the heart's electrical system, previous heart disease, stress, among others. A VNRT is one of the most common forms of PSVT and occurs when the electrical wave is redirected back to the atrioventricular node by an additional pathway of the AV node itself. Atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia is a less common form of PSBT and is caused by an abnormality in the heart's electrical system. There is an additional electrical communication between the atria and ventricles, called an accessory pathway, which leads to a reentry of electrical impulses between the atria and ventricles. Atrial tachycardia is the simplest form of PSBT and occurs when there is abnormal electrical activity in the atrium leading to rapid heartbeats. In all cases, it is important to consult a doctor to determine the type of PSBT and the best treatment for the patient, as in many cases, radiofrequency ablation may be an effective and safe option for definitively treating PSBT. Is there a definitive treatment for PSBT? Radiofrequency ablation is a definitive treatment option for PSBT, with low risks and high success rates. During the procedure, a catheter is inserted into the heart through a vein and used to identify and destroy the abnormal cells that are causing the arrhythmia. Radiofrequency ablation is a minimally invasive procedure and often offers a safe and effective alternative to medication or surgery. If you are suffering from symptoms of PSBT, radiofrequency ablation may be an effective and safe solution for you. Don't hesitate to consult a doctor for more information about this procedure and how it can help you get rid of PSBT symptoms for good. Thank you for watching this video about PSBT. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. So click the subscribe button and join our community. Thanks again for watching.